Hello, I'm Superintendent Ryan Sachs, and for this episode of On the Road, we will be shadowing teachers and students from across Cabell County. We're gonna start right here at Huntington Middle School in Miss Angela Nottingham's sixth and seventh grade social studies class. Let's go. We just got done with a lesson, and let me tell you something, I am wiped out. I'm, <laughs> that was that was intense, Yeah. Uh, but I really enjoyed it. So tell me a little bit about why you applied um, to be shadowed by me today. Because I know that you're trying to go out in every school, and I wanted you to see what it was like to work with like 28 sixth graders and 28 seventh graders. It's, it's a bit much, but it's always intense, fun. We have a good time. We learn a lot. We laugh a lot. It's yeah. pretty loud, yeah. but it's... It's still a lot of learning going on. In every interaction we've had, there was learning going on and it was fun. Yeah. And that was really inspiring to me, was to be able to see how you were able to integrate fun activities for these students to be able to learn the best in your social studies class. You know, I wanted you to see that it's not just somebody up there, lecture, 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 PowerPoint, like there's stuff going on in all good social studies classrooms. So I'm glad you wore your sneakers. I'm glad you were running around the room with me. Yeah, it was a very so, dynamic <laughs> class. For yes. sure. Thank well, you so much. Thank you. Yes. We're now at Milton Elementary where I'm ready to start my day. You know, it's been a while since I've been an elementary student, so I'm really excited today to shadow an elementary student to get a new perspective as to what it's like to be an elementary student here in Cabell County. I'm ready to get started. We started off with uh, small group centers and reading and we're middle of the day in PE. <laughs> so, getting my workout today. <laughs> so we're getting ready to do math facts. What, what, what's math facts? Um, it's where you, we have, we turn it over and we write our name on the back and she tells us when to go and we have two minutes to complete it all. And then she has these folders with the actual answers in them and you get to go check our answers. And then you keep progressing to more, yes. to more problems. Hey, hey. Yeah. Very cool. Why did you want me to come and shadow you today? So you can know more about my school. I, I was able to sit with you during your reading block and we just got done doing math facts and then we went and, and, and had PE together. So what was your favorite part of today with you know, be, me being able to shadow you today? Math facts and PE. Math facts, why, why, why math facts and PE? PE because I had fun. Yeah. And math facts because I wanted to see what you could do. Yeah, yeah. And who who won with math facts? Me. Yeah, you did, you won. Yeah, I was impressed, you did a great job, yeah. You know, one of the things I noticed in here in your class is, is that all the students, all your classmates, they were working so hard and they were very respectful of each other and it seemed like almost your fourth grade class was kind of like a family. Is that how you describe it? Yeah. If I could improve one thing for you as a student here at Milton Elementary, what, what could I improve? What could I make better for you? Everybody to be nice to each other. Everybody to be nice to each other? Yeah. That makes sense. I like that. So it's been a while since um, I was a Cabell Midland student, as you know. Mm -hmm. I graduated from Cabell Midland. Oh, really? Yeah. So you didn't know that, huh? No, I yeah. didn't. <laughs> so, so I graduated from Cabell Midland, but it's been a while, since you know, you... since I've walked the hallways of Cabell Midland as a student. So yeah. I'm really excited to be able to shadow you today. It's probably changed since you've been here, but I look forward to showing you. What do you hope that I walk away knowing that I didn't know before? Just uh, how things run, you know, here at Cabell Midland. I understand. You know, with Superintendent, that you do stay pretty well caught up with stuff, but uh, it gives a really good perspective on how things are here at the school. Yeah. Um, just anywhere from transitioning classes to how we do things in the classroom. What is the greatest challenge that you feel students face every day? Um, I, I think, you know, there's, there's many challenges uh, as far as just uh, problems at home, or even not problems at home, just uh, self-esteem levels, or even not uh, struggling in a subject. You know, if you don't have that proper support there, then, you know, you're not going to really want to try in any other classes. Mm -hmm. All right, well, listen, I'm looking forward to getting it started. Yeah. All right, buddy. Hey, thank you yeah, very much. Yeah.
So, Caitlin, uh, we have ended the day, mm -hmm. and you were the last student that I got to shadow, which I'm going to tell you something. I had an awesome day today. Uh, it was really cool being able to go to your career literacy course and then band. I got to play the trumpet again. It was awesome. Yeah. Tell me, why did you apply to have me shadow you today? I applied because I thought it would be cool so you actually knew what it was like instead of getting a teacher or like personnel or staff view of everything. Uh -huh. So you understand like how we have to change to classes, how you have to go to your locker, get your stuff, right. get everything around school. And so let me ask you, what is one thing that you hope that today I walk away with knowing that maybe I didn't know before? Maybe that since we have like newer ways of stuff, the parents don't really know as much. So maybe like a way to educate the parents on how to do it because we have new ways like we use electronics and we have like new methods for math and stuff. Mm -hmm. So different strategies yeah. to with the content that you're learning. I'm looking forward to seeing you learn and grow as a Cabell County student and I'll see you around, okay? Okay. Alright, thanks. Alright. After a week long of shadowing students and teachers throughout Cabell County, I can truly tell you that this experience has been remarkable and has uh, really been a very rewarding uh, experience that uh, I'm going to t carry with me for a long time. This fresh perspective of what it's like to be a faculty member or a student here in Cabell County is something that I'm going to use as we continue to make decisions that are in the best interest of our schools, our students, and our employees. Uh, from strategic planning to everyday decisions, being able to have this fresh perspective is something that is extremely valuable. And I look forward to making this uh, something that I try to do on a consistent annual basis so that I can connect with the people, the students, and the teachers that are making such a, an impact in our uh, schools every single day. Thank you.